What is up guys, it's Headsets Modern Warfare here, Gamertime Banter Chicken, and welcome back to what should be a short JTAG tutorial episode. So, this should have been covered in like episode 2, not 30, whatever we're on now. Uh, it's just, my disk drive's kind of broken, so I've never really been able to cover this properly. But, despite that, I will just explain this and try and show you as best as I can on how to do this, because I've had quite a few people asking on other JTAG tutorials. So, in this video, we're basically going to be looking at how to run games from the disc. So if you actually have a gate a retail copy of a game, you want it on your JTAG, maybe you want to copy it to the hard drive, maybe you have an install disc, maybe like GTA for example is one people were asking me a lot what happens with GTA when the install disc, if you actually have the discs rather than downloading the ISOs from the internet, how are you supposed to, you know, transfer that and get GTA working, multi disc games working? When, you're at, when you actually have the CDs, the actual discs themselves, rather than the ISO image. Um, so, in this video, basically going to go through that. So, right now I have cracked down a single disc game, a very old game, in my disc tray. Now, I could just run it from the disc, and that would be fine. It should work. Shouldn't be any big issues with that. But, what we can do is actually copy the entire... All the files are on the disk, so everything that's on the disk, all the files, and we can copy them to a directory on our hard drive and then run it from the hard drive. We won't have to have the disk in every time we want to play the game. We can run it from the hard drive just like all the other games that I've installed in my other JTAG tutorial videos. So to do this, there's a few different ways that we can do this. Number one, we can do it within Freestyle Dash. If you have Freestyle Dash, you can scroll up to Utilities and go to DVD Extract. If you press A on this, um, you will get, you can include a system update folder, you can change the directory, so we're going to select my external, in fact there's probably not enough room on my external hard drive, I'll go to my main hard drive and I will select, do I have a games folder? I do, so I'll select games and I will make a directory in here and I'll call this crackdown. So I can go into this directory and press Y to select directory. And now all I have to do is start copy. In fact, I probably, it's going to create its own directory, I think. So I don't even need to create that directory. I could just put it in the games folder. And you just click start copy. And what that's going to do, you'll hear the disk drive spin up. And it's going to start copying all the files from the disk. As you can see, it's starting to transfer. There's the default.xex file, all these other files from the game. And it's just going to copy absolutely all the files that are on the disk and it's going to put them into that directory on the hard drive. So that's one way you can do it and once this is finished you can go to the hard drive and start the default.xex and it should run from the hard drive. Um, I'm going to cancel and show you the other ways of doing this because the thing with disks is they can be awfully difficult. You'll get problems where it won't copy a file or it will get stuck halfway through or something like that or it won't even start. It will, or it'll come up with disk unreadable messages and stuff like that. These these things can be very awkward and you might have to try a bunch of different ways to get it to work. Unless you've got a brand sparkling new disk that's completely clean, then you'll have probably better luck than an old game that's maybe got some fingerprints or scratches on it. That can be quite problematic. So that's one way. The other way to do it is through XEX menu. So if we go to Homebrew Apps, we run XEX menu. And we go to our directory, which was on the hard drive. So it was games, and then it was crackdown. So it's actually created the crackdown folder. You can see all the files that it was transferring over. It hasn't done them all. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that directory now. So what we can, the other thing we can do, if we go into this directory that we want to copy all the files to, we press Y and then we go down to... If we scroll down further, we've got Copy DVD. If you select that, it will eject your disk tray. And when it ejects your disk tray, it says, please insert the DVD you want to copy. It will be copied in the current directory. What you need to do is close the disk tray manually. So you push the disk tray in with your hand, wait a couple of seconds, and then press Confirm. And it, there we go, it starts copying all the files from your DVD, your Xbox game, 
to the hard drive, just like Freestyle Dash was doing. Same exact thing. Okay, so again, you wait for this to get to 100%. Once it's done, launch the default.xex in your hard drive. If the game runs, fine. You've successfully copied it from the disk to the hard drive. So I'm going to cancel again. And this time, I'm going to show you the other thing you can do. If the disk is scratched or damaged and there's maybe one or two files that it's not copying over correctly, then what you can do is manually copy each individual file. So you can go to DVD, so if you press X where it lists all the drives, you'll have DVD when you have the disk in. You can select DVD and it gives you all the files on the disk. So then you can just go through and start copying each individual file, like copy this one. Um, then go to where you want it to be saved, which is in here, and then paste, etc. And then it pastes each indi individual file, and then again you keep going back, X, go back to DVD, copy the next folder, paste, and do that until you have every single one copied it over. Or mainly that that's only if you've done the normal copying using Freestyle Dash or XCX Menu, and there's maybe just one or two files that's not copying over because they might be scratched or possibly damaged, then you might be able to get them copied over this way if you just manually copy and paste the individual files themselves. And again, I'm just going to cancel that. So that's essentially how you do it. Those are the three ways. Now I'm also going to show you an install disk. I'm going to show, I'm going to try and show you GTA 5's install disk and how you do, uh, how you do it with an install disk because if you just put an install disk into the disk drive and run run it from the disk it doesn't install so I'm going to show you how you do that manually from the disk so I'm going to eject crackdown take that out pop in my, uh, my GTA 5 install disk And give this a few seconds to spin up. That should be it by now. So press X, I'll select DVD. And here we go. So this is GTA 5's install disk. So what you want to do, rather than running the disk on the JTAG, because that probably won't work for installing it. So you want to go into the content folder, any install disk, should have a content folder. So you go into the content folder, then you should see another folder like this with all zeros. You go in there, then you have a folder like this, 545408A7. Depending on what disk it is for what game, that'll be different, that folder name will be different. But you want to just press Y and copy that folder, and then press X and go to your hard drive or whatever storage device you're using to save your profiles on, whether it's a configured USB or your hard drive should be your hard drive though and if you don't have an internal Xbox hard drive get one or a laptop hard drive to use instead um, so anyway you go to the hard drive and you have a content folder on your hard drive you go in there you go into the same folder with all the zeros and then you just paste your file in here now I'm gonna get a message saying do you want to overwrite I'm not going to overwrite because I already have the content disk for GTA 5 installed that's why it's asking me to replace it if you don't have GTA installed, you will not get that message. So it's all good. You just paste it and that's it. It starts copying everything from the content folder on the install disk, which is what the install disk would have installed anyway. And you just paste that onto your hard drive into the content folder, which is exactly the same place that it would install to anyway on a retail. And that's it. Once the install disk is installed, you can just place the play disk in the tray and play it um, from the disk if you want and it should run, or you can copy it uh, to another drive. But with GTA 5, and it's mainly just with GTA 5, but mm, it could potentially be the same for other games like it, like Halo 4 and whatever else I can think of, maybe Battlefield. For you know, games games where you have an install disk, Ghosts, for example, you you shouldn't install the play disk to the same drive that the content that the install disk has installed it to. Because if you think about it, on a retail, you have the install disk, which is installing stuff to the hard drive. So you have all the install data from the install disk 
on the hard drive and then the game is ran from the disk and that's how it works. The disk is a separate drive to the hard drive. So on a JTAG you have the install disk install it, install all the data to the hard drive but then if you copy the play disk also to the hard drive even if it's in a different directory because they're both on the same drive you're going to end up with problems. So you should have it on a different drive. You should have the play disk maybe on an external hard drive or a, US, a large USB stick and the content disk, the install disk data on the internal hard drive and that's how you avoid errors and disk unbeatable messages and just general problems with the GTA not loading and stuff like that. So that's basically it. That's how you copy games from the disk to the hard drive. Those are pretty much all the main methods that you need to know. I hope you guys found this information useful. I apologize for not making a video like this sooner. Um, but yeah, I've, I've never really used disks particularly. I always get problems with my disk drive copying from the disk to the hard drive. I'm sure I'll get lots of comments with people saying it stops halfway, halfway or I try the copy DVD and it gets stuck at 0% and it's not copying. Yeah, disks do that. So if the worst comes to the worst, just download the ISO off the internet and extract it to your hard drive and there you go. That's that's how I do it. Even with games, even with games I already have on a disk, I still download them from the internet from a torrent or whatever um, because it's easier to install because I get a lot of problems copying from the disk to the hard drive. But um, that is how you do it. So thanks for watching and yeah, go ahead, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.